welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to video one of How I Play Roundabout by Yes on Guitar. There's a lot going on in this song, so the parts will be spread out over several videos. Links to subsequent videos will be provided in the video description as they are produced. This tutorial will cover two ways to play the intro, finger style and with a guitar pick. I have no idea how Steve Howe played this on the original recording. I will be showing you how I play it based on what I am hearing on the record. The guitar is tuned standard, E A D G B E, and the key is E minor. First I will show you how I play it fingerstyle on the acoustic, then I'll show you how I play it with a pick on the electric guitar. Here's how we'll start the intro. We'll go up to fret 12 and we'll go to the G string, B string, and high E string and we'll play in harmonic like this. Now what I'm doing in order to accomplish that is I'm placing my finger parallel with the fret at fret 12. I've got my finger lined up with that fret and I'm barely touching the strings and I'm going to strum them, then release them, like that. So what I'm doing is just that. With a little practice, you should be able to do this. Put your finger just on the strings, just barely touching them, and then strum the three, and then release them, like that. That's what we're after. Then we'll go down to fret 7 and we'll use the ring finger I went to fret 5 played and pulled off of fret 7. Then I'll go to fret 8 on the B string fret 7 on the B string, then back to fret 5 on the high E string. So that's then I'll go back up to fret 12 and do a harmonic on the low E string. Do the harmonics again on the G, B, and high E. Repeat the riff and stop at fret 7. Then we'll go to the G string, fret 4, and do this. And we'll do the same thing on the D string. And then land on fret 3 on the A string. So once again, we're going to play fret 4 on the G string, hammer on to fret 5, then slide up to fret 7. We'll do the same thing on the D string. And then go to the A string, fret 3. We'll go back up to fret 12, do a harmonic on the low E string, or harmonic again at fret 12 on the G, B, and high E. We'll finish with this.
that was fret 7, 5 hammering on the 7 and pulling off, fret 8 on the B string, fret 7, fret 5 on the high E, and back to fret 7 on the B string. After that, we'll pause and then we'll play this. For the next part, we'll play this. We'll start with a basic D chord form, but we'll pick with the thumb and index finger the D string and the high E string, like this. Now I'm going to use my thumb and index finger for the entire thing. So we'll play that, then we'll play this little riff, for that I play the G note at fret 3 on the high E string, I'm going to hammer from open to 2 on the high E string and then pull off and then go to the B string fret 3 so that's here we go again then we'll change to a C shape like this and we'll put a finger on the B string fret 3 that's a C add 9 chord or a C add 9 shape and we'll play this so with that I had my shape in place I played the A string and high E string then I'll go to the B string and go to fret 3 fret 1, open. So again that's then I'll change to this shape which is kind of like an E minor 7 and I'll play this For that one, I'm playing the A string and B string, and the B string is played at fret 3, and then open, so that's For the next part, I'm going to place my fingers like this. I've got a finger on the B string fret 1, and got my finger over the G string fret 2 and I'm going to play the B string and A string simultaneously and then follow it with an A note at fret 2 on the G string. So this is what we have. Then I'll move to the G note at fret 3 on the low E string and I'll pluck the low E string and the B string and then the open G. So that's like this. Then I'll go to a D shape like this. Now I'm holding down fret 2 
on the low E string and fret 2 on the G string and I'm going to pluck those strings. And then lastly I'll play an E minor chord. So here's the entire thing very slowly. Now that's our main intro, finger style. Now let's take a look at it using a guitar pick. Here's how we'll play it on electric guitar with a guitar pick. In order to play this with the pick, we'll just play a D chord. We'll go to fret 3 on the high E string. Go to the open string, hammer on to fret 2 and pull it off. And then land on fret 3 on the B string. So again, that's... We'll go back to the high E string, open. Fret 3 on the B string. 1 open, back to three, open, one, fret two on the G string, the open B string, the open G string, fret two, and then an E minor chord. So again, that's We can play it exactly the same way on the 12 string guitar with the pick and it sounds pretty cool. And now for the roundabout outro. The only difference between the outro and the intro is that the outro ends with an E major chord. It'll sound something like this. All right, folks, that's it for now. That's the intro to Roundabout by Yes on acoustic and electric guitar. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.